Ladies, today, this video is really aimed towards you. Olympia by Paco Rabanne. So I'm reviewing a women's fragrance, and I am not a woman. But uh, I appreciate beauty of all kinds, and I love the fragrance we're talking about today. It's a light kind of love. I don't have any ladies around today to ask their opinion, uh, but... Uh, well, I got the cat. I got Tifa. My cat Tifa. She's named after the character from Final Fantasy VII, of course. She has just walked in to the area I am in. Oh. You want to give a little review? Maybe. Hey, kitty, do you like this? Not so much? Huh. Come here. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, a little purr. Hmm. That's actually a pretty good uh, review from that cat. She's very talkative. Ain't you, baby? We may be hearing more from her. She's very talkative today. It's a good smell. I happen to have this bottle in my possession. I think that it's pretty good for kind of a cool summer night or fall time. Um, a romantic smell, I think. It's got uh, vanilla and powder and this woodsy kind of white floral thing happening. And then it also has what I think is a pretty strong salty note. I like it, man. <laughs> There's a lot of beauty to be experienced with this fragrance. Um, I really like just sitting around and huffing it. If a lady was wearing this, I would think she was classy and a little sexy, you know? Um, even mature. There's maybe a little mature vibe to this. It doesn't smell like some teenage girl or whatever. If, if you're in your teens, this maybe not for you. But if you're kind of in your 20s and 30s, you're looking for a classy evening smell, Oh, it does it for me, man. Um, the official notes uh, on the top are um, green mandarin and ginger and something called water jasmine, which I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm not a proud man. Uh, I don't know all the stuff, and I, God damn it, I'm not going to look up all the stuff either. That's not what I'm into. I'm into the beauty of it, man. In the mid notes, that's where you get the salt and the vanilla. They have this beautiful relationship. And then in the base notes, it's sandalwood, uh, cashmere wood, and uh, ambergris, which is, uh, it's like synthetic whale vomit, which is a great band name. If you're looking for a band name, Synthetic Whale Vomit, pretty strong. I like this. Uh, for me, it gets a four out of five. I just brought this fragrance along with me to do a podcast with my friend Greg Benton. We do a show uh, on Monday nights called The Late Weekend Show. And uh, I think it's on SoundCloud and soon to be on YouTube. Greg didn't seem to be that impressed with this smell. He said it was kind of sexy, but he said it was for old ladies. I don't think that's right. I think Greg is, is, is wrong on that. And I love Greg. He's my close friend. But, you know, fucking your close friends can be wrong about some shit. It's a good smell.
Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope I kept it quick. I really tried. I really tried to be brief. It doesn't work out very often. Thank you very much.